laid out right here, you've got two different jigs. Uh, these are actually the exact same jig head. Uh, they are the exact same weight. They're made by the exact same company. Uh, these are some rattling, rattling weapon jigs. Nothing's radically different about them than any other jig, but they do have, other than, other than just color, there is one big difference between the two of them, and it's what we're going to talk about today. Um, and that is the skirt material on them. Uh, the two of these jigs other, you know, are completely identical in all facets except for that skirt material. Uh, the one right here, this uh, brown and chartreuse one, uh, this is actually your typical regular silicone skirt. Uh, this is what you find on, you know, I'd say 85 to 90 percent of the jigs out there. This one right here, the red and black, this is a living rubber skirt. Uh, they both while they look the same, more or less, when they're out of the water, uh, if you get real up close and look at them, you can kind of tell the difference. Um, in the water, they look very, very different. One of the ways that you can tell right off the bat, if you look at the living rubber one, uh, to me, out of the water, it always looks just a little bit dusty. If you look at it right there, you can see that it just, now out of the water, it's, it's important to mention, it doesn't have that same uh, shiny quality that the silicone does to it. Another way that you can tell is you can look at the end of the skirt material. And it's probably going to be very hard to see on here. But the end of the skirt material on here, this is almost like square tubing. Um, the silicone, when you look at it, is actually flat strips. And then the other way that you can tell, too, is just by feel. The uh, silicone is, is smooth yet kind of tacky. And uh, the living rubber actually feels a little bit... A dryer is probably not the right word for it, but you'll understand when you feel them. Uh, I can sit here and talk about them all day long uh, and, and the differences between the two of them, but I feel like what really truly is the best way to demonstrate this is to show you what they look like in water. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So the one that you're seeing now is that black and red living rubber. And what I think is really neat to see about that is you look at how the skirt material just it falls down and it splays out and it just stays standing up the whole time and just the slightest little bit of movement and it just kind of floats if it moves a little faster it stays and keeps that bait fish kind of profile when it's up and moving in the water column but as soon as you let it go slack it falls and it splays and it stays upright like that and the slightest little current in the water will make it just the slightest current in the water will make it just kind of quiver and I'm using very very small movements of the rod tip as this thing works its way across the bottom here and the skirt material stays splayed out So there are different schools of thought about when this is appropriate and when it's not. Um, sometimes it just might be they want that bigger, you know, the, the fish want that bigger profile. And if that's the case, then this is the ticket for you. So we'll look at these individually, and then we'll look at them in comparison together in a minute. So now in here you've got the silicone skirt. And the silicone skirt, as you can see, it still splays and it still goes all out like that. But as you watch over time, all those strands kind of they tend to settle down. You get some that stick up, but I don't really feel like it's the same profile that the living rubber gives off. You know, I'm not arguing that the living rubber is better than the silicone by any stretch of the imagination. I probably use silicone far more often than I do the living rubber. Um, but it certainly is a different presentation. When you watch them in the water, that you know that skirt makes a difference. They behave differently. This is the same tiny little rod tip motions that I was making before. Work it back towards the camera here. And then let it sit. And you can watch some of that silicone material stays upright some of it slowly lowers back down but it doesn't give that same almost like porcupine profile is what I think of when I look at the the living rubber 
It just seems to have a whole lot more bulk to it. As the silicone swims through the the water column, it still, I think, even now maintains a uh, a smaller profile than the living rubber does. And then when it hits, it's got a lot of initial movement, but it kind of dies down. And I'm giving it some very gentle twitches of the rod tip there. You watch it splays and then you get kind of, qu of a quivering action from it but not anything like what you get out of the living rubber. So that's a silicone skirt jig versus a living rubber jig.